Hi everybody, Prototype Jim here and welcome back. We're starting a new series today of a very old game. Literally, it's been 10 years since the game had come out. I'm not sure when the TV series come out because it is based on a TV series called Fallen Skies. Now, I remember watching it when I was young but I can barely remember anything about it. But they had a turn based strategy game come out. So I thought I'd give it a try. I played a little bit of it just to get myself familiarised with what goes on. But we're going to jump in and do a series of it and see how things go. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. Do a new one. Do I have what it takes? I'll go normal because I'm not. I don't know the full aspects of the game, so we'll give it a try. Yes, like I said I played a little bit of it, so it's going for a new one. Three years ago, the Earth was invaded by an extraterrestrial race called the Ishveni, and the fate of the planet was changed forever. The Ishveni have been conquering worlds for a millennia, slaughtering countless races and enslaving the planet's most valuable resources the children. Left too long in Ishveni hands, they are transformed into something else. Something inhuman. With so few survivors left on Earth, the Ishveni expected the human race to surrender. But we fought back. With the help of our alien allies, the Volm, we have better, more powerful weapons and a new sense of hope. We can win our planet back, but only if we stick together. Scouts report the Ishveni are building some sort of alien device inside that shopping center, which means we're not alone out here. We better find some cover. Well, we're going for the tutorial first, so everything is pretty much standard. You got it. Movement in the blue region can do it. Yeah. We're still too exposed. I mean, you I know it. we know turn base work. I mean, the abilities are intriguing. Okay. I've seen some of them. But it should be intriguing to see what they are. Yeah, a player that can move to a large distance, sprint, blah, takes up two actions. So. Let's go! We're just basically just doing it. Let's go through the Let's tutorial motions. Hold on, I hear something. What is that thing? We need to get closer to the entrance without being spotted. Move your squad to a better vantage point. Apparently yeah. it's on a better vantage point, I have no idea. Uh, this squad is already in a good position. You use the defense action to increase its defense for one turn. Defense class would defeat. Sadly to say, the uh, the voicing in that is a bit is a bit repetitive, from what I've discovered. So please bear with it. And the action is a bit poor. It's just a scratch. Just we have to stop that skitter before we can warn anyone we're here. Seventy-one percent. We'll give that a shot. Just like that. Just like that. See, it's literally repetitive. It's the same moon, moon talking. That's right. We need to find out what the Ishveni are building. But I thought it'd be a little fun little thing to uh well the play. No problem. See what it's like. I've never actually I played a little bit like I said, but I've never completed it, so Over there? 
It'd be intriguing to see how things progress. Time to move. I mean, I don't have an Overwatch. Just it seems like a. I hate waiting around. As far as I know, Tommy or Tom. I guess he's the main character out of the TV series. Is the only one that has Overwatch. I don't know if that's just you got his it. class ability or it's just him at all. Nothing's getting through here. But that is just pretty much. I'm on it. I mean, most of these are all noobs in a minute, so. Going. That's Pope's voice. That device is tracking our camp communications. We have to shut it down. I mean, really? I mean, he's the only one that can overwatch. Here. I mean, it's kind of similar to literally the uh, first mission of XCOM. We got blow up, or, or the second one, we got blow up the statue. So, I'm going now as a tutorial. So we gotta to get to On my the way. extraction. like that Help Wow, get me up. It bit me up. Kill that one anyway first. Keep it up. Do better. You can do better. You get an opportunity. That's right. I mean, just the way they fire the shotgun, you're like, really? Is, that's how way. you're gonna do it? Just pure hit fire. Here I come. You don't need to aim. I mean, most of these have got just shotguns, got so we'll see what it's like. So one of mine got injured. So it seems like you're injured you and then you bleed for a little bit with a few scratches, so on it. I don't think there's much Go in the version it. of customization as well for the characters. Kind of slightly a bit annoying, Time but to move. I suppose it's only a primitive when game the really. Fun part start? We're just giving it a trial. Like I said, I've never completed it, so it'd be you funny to see how the story progresses. Just I can't even. To be fair, I can't even remember the. Look out! I hate waiting around. The TV series, so. The fish heads were found tinkering again at the local mall. What was it this time, huh? An interstellar soda machine? It looked like some sort of shortwave radio tracker. A tracker? You think they've discovered us? The device was definitely tracking our communications. I think we shut it down before they could pass on our coordinates. But you can't be sure now, Canyon. Which means Cooties and Max could be storming our castle any second now. What I mean is, with Weaver and the others away, we can't afford to take any chances. So be on guard. Heard. I mean, the little interactions are quite funny, but it is what it is. 
we gained some food for this and we've got some levels so we get a sniper class like I say customization you got their name you change the color of the hair color of the skin I mean just pale purple I don't know why you need that Uh, change the tops and change the trousers. Not much on the verge of a customization, but here's what it is. I mean, you can't just do everything in mouse skill wise. Obviously, everyone, they, they upgrade your class. Can a scout, medium sniper? Take, take careful aim, increase the accuracy of his shot. I mean, some of them allow, allow the scout to move an additional grid square per an AP. And then you can prove your pistol accuracy, light up a flare, vantage point, improve accuracy when attacking from a vantage point. Some of these abilities sound eager eye, reduce the effectiveness of a target's cover by 50%. So some of these are the perks they come up with pretty uh, crazy it'd be funny to see how uh, we can implement these into the battle through damage with a sniper rifle by 10% and then the clean blow increases crit chances for the next attack the scout and allies deal an extra damage to a marked target so be intrigued to see what these abilities do so and then we get a spike boy a skill a melee melee weapon which performs a devastating attack at close range I think I mean some of these look that as an extra slot allowing a spike kid to carry more than one utility item which means you can carry like a grenade or make it but then you this one allows him to carry a stack of three of the same utility into one slot it's crazy you have three grenades that's like impressive so like just some of the abilities that they come on could, could be op as an extra like more slot pouches so i'm definitely intrigued to see what some of these people are like when they're leveled up anyway Customization, same things, hair, skin color, which doesn't really seem much chance, different tops. But I think most people are generic sort of look. So you won't get much in the form of customization, sadly. Equipment, I'd say guns, you know, pistol or shotgun. That pistol has more effective range that has more crits so grenades you get a first aid kit build dressing that stops bleeding and grenades so whether you can uh, improve your uh, i'm guessing you can because uh i can't just do everything by mouse but skill wise it says here adds a toxin to a smoke grenade which poisons it so you can you can get smoke grenades and stuff like that i'm guessing and a berserker who seems to be like a heavy carries a an lmg and a rocket launcher but then looks like you know your granny from next door <laughs> Your nan's gone into the battle. Suppress fire, which pins down a target and reduces their accuracy by 25%. It's pretty much suppress. I mean, rage up. I don't know what this rage meter is. Automatically attacks an enemy that scores a critical hit on the berserker. So, you get molotovs. Bang for a buck and double the clip size of explosive weapons. So, and allies have a higher quick chance of suppression 
targets so yeah so definitely be uh, intrigued to see what some of these people's abilities and how they work come into play but yeah and then you got a bit slightly a little base management here you got your workshop going on all I can do is a light vest in a minute takes one mission time to do I think everything's done by missions by the looks of it so if I don't have the materials in the infirmary infirmary you through your roster no no one's in there for wounded you can upgrade it painkillers defibrillator stuff like that so what about changes because last time I got loads of I got different ones positive outcome wounded soldiers receive a treatment boost to their maximum health for one mission after returning to duty so you get some crazy abilities oh, last time I only increased squad I don't know how that come into a play whether that's just random oh no you can upgrade it here oh uh ha -huh. so you can upgrade here fresh meat you can get more people a squad size so i think you can have six of the max i'm not sure though you can recruit new people but i generally think they change their appearance the minute they uh recruited I'm not too sure we'll also see but we already had a, a roster we got some newbies we got four newbies already and the rest so it'll be intriguing to see I would like to get some more like upgrades how much does it cost for that a thousand food to do that so Ooh, it's going to take a while before I get that. But anyway, I'm Project Up Jim. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy my episode. I know this is a pretty old game, so it's not going to be up to scratch. It's, it's nowhere going to be near like some of the best, you know, superb turn based strategy games like XCOM, but it should be a laugh. So, and something different. I don't know how many people have played this, so it'd be intriguing to see. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.